wouldn't be uh, Mozart's rec- Requiem. You would think maybe. No, I'm not into a somber at all. No somber. And the sun stood still and the moon stayed until the nation had avenged themselves of their enemies. Joshua six, Joshua 13. And the sun stood still and the moon stayed until the nation had avenged themselves of their enemies. That, my friends, is the Bible, the Jewish Bible. And if people don't believe the Bible, that's to their own detriment. They cannot believe it or believe it. It doesn't matter to God. Believe me, he don't care whether you believe in him or not. I once said to a religious man, I said, if God is so great, I, Michael is cynical, why does he need us to get down on our knees and worship him? Why do we have to worship him if he's so wonderful and so great? He said, he, he doesn't need you to do that. You need to do that because you need to as a human being. That stood in my mind for a long time. Man needs to worship somebody greater than himself or else he becomes Steven Spielberg or worse yet, David Geffen. I'll be right back. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. The Savage Nation is sponsored by SwissAmerica.com, the only company I trust to protect my wealth and financial future. Call 1-800-289-2640. All right, my friends on the West Coast, streak of light in Western U.S. sky sends social media a buzz. A streak of light is seen over an apartment building in Las Vegas yesterday. U.S. military officials said the streak of light seen burning across the sky by people in three western states was the body of a Russian rocket, which burned up as it entered the Earth's atmosphere. Russian rocket. SL-4 rocket body booster from Russia that launched Monday. U.S. Strategic Command spokesmouth Julie Ziegenhorn, part of the um, sorority. Notice everywhere in the military now it's a girl. And there's nothing wrong with women, but everywhere you turn, no more men. No men, no more representing the military. Now it's girls and sorority girls. Julie Ziegenhorn, U.S. Strategic Command. That that really makes ISIS shake in their boots when they see another girl get up there and speak about military affairs. Nothing wrong with brave women. Some of them are very brave, braver than I, tougher than I. I mean, look at the martial arts field. I wouldn't want to be in a ring with her, would you, Robert? Mysterious bright light seen from Las Vegas to Ventura was Russian rocket body, says U.S. Strategic Command sorority girl, Julie Ziegenhorn. No one discussed the rocket's use. Launched as part of a project to bring materials to a space station. I love talking about the space station when you liberal morons have forgotten what Obama did within the first month of his presidency when he tried to un uncouple America from its greatness, that the snake, the fang. He killed NASA killed our space rockets program. He made U.S. astronauts ride on Russian rockets, having to pay fees to ride up to our own International Space Station. That's what Obama did to make sure that we would go backwards in space technology. That's what he did. One of the first things he did was destroy our abilities in space. Can you believe this? He let China and Russia get way ahead of us. And now he's continuing to do what he did in space here on, the, on, on terrestrial Earth. Right here on terrestrial Earth. But eh, what's the difference, though? He's good to uh, various and sundry minority communities. That's all that matters. Good to illegal immigrants. That's all that matters. That's the main thing. The rest is nonsense. It's all part of hate from the right. The right cares about those things. No one else. Yeah. So it was a Russian rocket. Huh? I didn't even see it. I missed it. Rocket's body? Did you catch that, Robert? I didn't see it go down. A body of a Russian rocket? Las Vegas? I wasn't in Las Vegas. That's when the woman of unknown, uh, for unknown reasons ran into the crowd. They still haven't released the reason. La Natasha, Latasha, Lashinka, Lashanka. She jumped the curb and ran people over like bowling pins. And the sheriff wouldn't tell us why she did it. They interviewed her. Remember that story? Yeah, that came and went real fast. Everyone said, was it terrorism? No, 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 no. Absolutely not terrorism. Was it anything related to you know what? No, 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 no. No. Nothing to do with Muslims. What was it now? What'd she do it for? She's just a plain nut? Yeah. Plain gangbanger nut. Hated people. That's what we're told. We don't know. To this day. I mean, blogs are suggesting otherwise, but the police today have been cape and eyes, so you're never going to get an answer. That's all. Oh, big deal. Again, the music doesn't do a thing for me today. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's December 23rd, whatever. 
We got some great callers. We got some great sound. You can call at 855-400-7282. Oh, the Sanders. I woke up in the middle of the night imitating Sanders, and I started to laugh in, at 3 in the morning. The dog didn't know what was wrong. I was actually creating a bit for you today, which I forgot about, and I didn't write it down. My old methodology is to write down ideas and jokes, and I forgot. I had such great stuff. Okay, so maybe this will trigger it. Uh, Robert, play clip six, uh, Colonel Sanders. Donald Trump is very upset. It's very hard for him to deal with. I don't know what his relationship with women has been in his life, but he has discovered that women go to the bathroom. And it's been very upsetting for him. I've got to be honest with you. I've got to lay it out on the table. Ugh. I also went to the bathroom. I know. I know. Saturday I Night Live, this morons. I, I guess I'm a man. Men are allowed to go to the bathroom. But women, what can we say? This is what it's come down to. This loser. This loser couldn't work in Katz's Deli in the French fry department. Only in America could this loser from the gutter. The gutter of the left wing be, be brought up like he's a real candidate when we know he's a stooge for Hillary. This loser. I can't do it. I can't. I cannot channel him. I was going to imitate him and Colonel Sanders all in one and something like that. I got to do it. Like I used to write these things down. I think it was something like this. <laughs> when it's coming back to me. I, I can't. I'm trying to channel it. If I don't do it right, it'll be bad. You know, like. But it's on the natch. I didn't rehearse it. I am Bernie Sanders, and I want to make us very, very clear that. Contrary to the rumors, Colonel Sanders is not my relative white at all. Number one, number one, Colonel Sanders and I are not related. Uh, the chickens are not kosher. That's number one. They're not the kind of chicken. Although I am not practicing Jew, I certainly would not eat a non-kosher chicken that Colonel Sanders is selling. That's number one. Number two, it is said that he was from the South. If you look at his beard, you'll know he is a racist of the type that I would never associate with. You could see the Confederate flag dripping all over his chicken fat. And so I have nothing to do with Colonel Sanders, no matter what they may be saying on the bigoted Republican side. That was part of it, something like that. Cheerio, cheerio Michael. Very good. Okay, let's take a call. Joe on WABC, go ahead, please. Dr. Savage, I've been listening to you for uh, over 10 years and 35 years old. I love the show. I appreciate what you do. So first off, thank you very much, sir. Um, I want to make a comment on why I think uh, Trump is going to do well with, with blacks and Hispanics. Uh, but before I do, i got to say, I'm looking at these photos of uh, this skinny, effeminate freak uh, trekking up the ant hill in, in Hawaii. And, and i got to say, I'm looking at this guy's outfit, and, and I kind of feel like he's, he's buying his clothing from an ISIS catalog. Man has everything but the, the head who, who are we talking about, Fang? Fang the surfer? I mean, I mean this, this guy's in the tropics, and he's wearing an all-black outfit. Climbing up wait, wait, where, where is this picture of him appearing of Obama on vacation? I can't find it. I want to see it. I saw it. I saw it on the uh, on the Mail Online. Oh wow! They got how do they get these pictures in England? And we don't get them here. It's like a, there's like a complete and total blackout here. Sorry to use a word like that, but there's a blackout about this guy. I mean, not only that, there's there's people on there taking uh, taking selfies with him. You see his you see the the, the 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 security walking around him. I mean, this guy this guy is prancing up up a hill. And everyone's on there talking about how, he, how he's uh, so physically fit. He looks like a skinny wimp. I mean, he's an embarrassment, absolute embarrassment. All right, but let's forget skinny or fat. It's his politics that offend us, not that, right? He's weak in general. He's just weak in general. His body type reflects his politics. But he's how weak, weak can Obama be if he's gotten away with virtually everything he's achieved, that he wanted to achieve? How weak can he be? Well, that just shows the weak minds of, of the politicians that, that unfortunately we've <laughs> Okay, you make a good point. In other words, the other side is weaker. Of course. Of course. And when you own Mc, when you own McClatchy and AP, when you own the Islamic Republic Wire and Scripps Howard, and you own Gannett, and you own the others, I mean, it makes you very strong, doesn't it? Of course, of course. It's it's easy it's easy to win when the other side is 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 pulling for you. So, what is your main point? Is that Trump is a strong man, and you think that's why he appeals to African Americans? No, well, I, I think there's a, I think a couple different things. I think I think number one for for the African American community, uh, number one, Trump is self made. Uh, I think they respect the respect the effect of a hustler. Um, he's surrounded by beautiful women his entire life. <laughs> I like that. That's and, good. He's a hustler. and He's surrounded by beautiful women. That's a good enough reason to vote for him. And and and, and for for lack of <laughs> terms, he's covered in blood. I like no. That's a good reason. No, that's a good reasons. Better better than other reasons. No. So so he's a hustler and he's surrounded by beautiful women. 
I, I mean, if 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 uh, I mean, his politics are just icing on the cake. Uh, and and <laughs> you're funny. You must be in entertainment. No, sir. I do. I do outside sales. <laughs> <laughs> you must be very successful selling stuff because you're funny. Well, and, and as far as the Hispanics go, um, yeah, I, I've looked around Latin cultures, um, and 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 you know, in Italy or or you know, any Hispanic culture, the Latin uh, uh, they really do favor the male, and 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 he's a strong man, and also he's so you're confirming that it's a macho culture. That that uh, uh, the Latino culture is a very macho culture, which is why they are gravitating to Trump, right? And they're never they're never going to vote for Hillary. The, the Latino men will not vote for her. They don't like a matriarchy. They don't like a woman dictating to them, especially. I'm sorry, a Caucasian woman. Am I wrong about that? And not at all. Not at all. No, I know people. You see, this is why I survive. I know what people think. Never mind what they say in the newspapers. That's only one reflection of some people's realities, but it's not the ultimate reality. All right, I'm sending you a copy for Christmas of Government Zero. I hope you enjoy it. It won't be there till next week because virtually everyone is on vacation except me. People are vacationing as they should. If they're normal. They're away with the family. So as I said, if you missed it, I'll, I'll be here uh, not tomorrow. I'll, I'll be here not Friday. <laughs> That's like saying we have best of us. So don't worry about it. You'll still hear your master's voice. <laughs> Tomorrow, Friday. We're not playing Christmas music. We're playing best ofs. I can't wait to hear them. I, say, I shouldn't, but I do. I listen to them. I have guys like scrubbing them for any kind of snorts and sniffles and food going down the wrong pipe during a I eat during a show. I can't help it. When my show shifted, you know, originally my show was for 20, 18, 19 years, I did a show in the afternoons on the West Coast, three to six. So on the East Coast, it was six to nine. It was like a normal, you know, for me, so I could have a lunch. And I'd eat lunch at 1, take a nap, and do my show at 3. It worked fine. And now, every, when it shifted three years ago, it's noon to 3 on the West Coast, 3 to 6 on the East. And it was done so I could be in the biggest market there, biggest markets there are at, during drive time. Because after 6, they're considered night shows. That's just the way radio is. And the fact is, it's thrown my schedule off. It's hard to eat. So I have to eat during a show. And that affects my uh, my delivery. Sometimes I shouldn't eat on the show. I, I want to doing crazy things with food. My appetite's upside down. But anyway, here I am. So uh, Thursday, Friday off, L.A. Friday. Monday I will be luckily, hopefully, God willing, doing a show live. My first show live from a brand-new studio in L.A. It's actually my fourth studio in L.A. I had other home studios in Los Angeles. I was on Franklin Street. I had a studio for a couple of years. I used it. I loved it. I used to look down at uh, Century City. I like, I'm one of those people who like LA. Then I had a studio in another hidden location in Beverly Hills, which I did for years, liked it. So this is the third. I think the third. And this one is uh, also got a little city view. I like the LA scene. It's just a dynamic. I'll go to the museum, LACMA. I like the Los Angeles County Museum of Art. It's got an amazing collection of great paintings. And then, you know, the restaurant scene is interesting if you like going out where it's not so much the food, but the show. The show. It's like show. Everyone's show and tell in L.A. And everyone knows it. You know, everyone's pending a deal and this a deal and that. A you go into places like Dantana's, which I love. I, I mean, I may not go. It's too crowded. The food is really exceptionally good. Very hard to get into. It's, uh, I don't know, it's kind of a B-list Hollywood place that used to be an A-list place that B-listers and D-listers and no-listers think is still an A-lister, and they think they're lucky if they can get in and pay through that. Whatever, I don't care. The food is great. The marinara sauce tastes like New York did in the 50s, or it may taste like today in Toronto for all I know. I don't know, but it tastes like Italian food. And the prawns are big. The prawns are big, and they I don't know where they get them from, but they're not like the little sewer shrimp. So that's a scene. But everyone's telling the guy next to him. Uh, what they're working on, what deal they're working on, and they don't stop. I mean, for an hour straight, they spritz the other guy. And it's usually a guy takes people to the dinner who they can you know, lord it over for two straight hours and talk. They spritz the other guys for two straight hours. They're telling them deals, and the other guy's nodding and eating the salad. Can't even wait to get home. Or you get the 60-year-old with the 30-year-old girlfriend where her eyes are looking all over the restaurant, and he's... Googling her the entire time, and yeah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and and uh, he's staring at her, and she's looking all around the restaurant, praying to God it's over sooner <laughs> rather than later. I like the people watching L.A. At least people are dynamically 
available for viewing when I go to L.A. San Francisco, everyone's so pseudo-cool, you don't even know what to